Rick, hurry up. We need to get that filming done. Well, ever since she's got this YouTube channel, she's become so impatient and bossy. Cargo on. Cargo conversion building camp. We've had our camper done, oh, about six months. And, of course, there's things that we would like to redo. So we're going to call this five things that we wish we could redo. Well, we recently did do a redo on the rear kitchen area because we bought a gasoline inverter generator, cut the shelf in there and raised one side of the rear shelf in the rear kitchen in the trailer so the inverter would fit underneath. One of the, the main thing I have some regrets about because I could still accomplish it as I'd like to do more with the electrical in there like cigarette lighter type outlets inside the trailer to plug devices in that you would normally plug into your vehicle. I'd also like to have had more outlets in there than what I put in. I didn't really initially think that I was going to have a need for so many outlets. To give you an example, we run an electric heater in there from time to time. It sits on the floor. It should have had an outlet down at the floor because now I have to run the cord up over the countertop to the outlet sink to get to the outlet with the cord. I'm not crazy about that. It's funny when you do this and then start using it for a while and then you're like oh why did we do this or we should have done that so that's I guess everyone goes through that yeah and the worst part of it is I can kick myself because I had thoughts about adding more in the way of electrical during the construction process and I just deemed that it wasn't necessary that it was merely adding to the expense and it was overkill and Sometimes you don't think just, you know, you think it's a minor inconvenience. It turns out over time becoming a major in inconvenience or it becomes a source of aggravation. But I would like to have a dimming capability and have more light fixtures in there than what I have now. Well, yeah. I wish that we had a bigger trailer. This one's just too little. Um, no, seriously. I really wish we had a seven foot wide trailer only because of the way we sleep. Since he's almost six foot and he likes to sleep with his arms behind his head, a seven foot wide trailer would have been way better for that. So we usually sleep the other way, which means the bed's not quite long enough. Our feet hang off. We pull a little thing over that his feet hangs on. A lot of people ask us, how come we don't have pictures up of all the construction? Because we had no idea we were going to be doing a YouTube channel at the time. YouTube came out of this. It came second. I really wish we had all this footage ahead of time. If you guys want to check out a build in process right now from you're very much in the beginning, check out I Ride Tiny Houses. I'm going to put a short clip on and there's going to be a link below. So I would recommend before you build to really look at videos, look online, look and see what you want and what is really most practical for you. But look, we're happy with what we have. It's, you know, we used to tent camp, so this is really, really a step above. One of the things, we, we put the refrigerator up in the front on the floor because I wanted to maximize the counter space. But the reality of it is I could have built a microwave in up above in one of the cabinet spaces up there and moved the refrigerator up and I would have lost some overhead cabinet space, but that would have gained me a base cabinet the size of that refrigerator, which would be far more space than what I would have lost if I had no overhead cabinets in the front. I could have put like a four drawer base unit in there, a three drawer base unit in there, which I think ultimately would have given us uh, more storage. And, and I would have, by putting the refrigerator up and losing that little bit of countertop there, it's just about as much countertop as I'm losing by having the microwave sitting on the countertop all the time. Our refrigerator is fine where it's at. Actually, I like where it's at because you, you can be outside and just reach in, open the door, reach in, grab a can of whatever beverage you, you desire. All right, there's one um, plus. <laughs> okay. But, so I like the position. Um... And the more beverages you reach, the harder it is to climb up the step and get into the trailer. It's just bending over. When something's really low on the floor, I mean, it's just easier for me. Like if I come in, we're loading the refrigerator up with, you know, those cans of what we drink. Um, it's just easier to sit on the floor and put them in there rather than bending all the way down and putting them in. Um, so. And later on in the evening, you can just sit on the floor and drink too. So. I wish we had storage under the couch. With the design that we have right now, just bear in mind that the only time that that storage would be accessible 
is when the bed is closed and in the couch position because once it's out, you can't reach back to get to the storage area. Most of our camping is just weekend trips. You don't have to have that much in the way of clothing. You don't have to haul that much in the way of food. We use the outdoor kitchen, so we're not really even most of our appliances or cookware in the trailer. We're using it in the back in that kitchen, which the storage accessible only from the rear to me isn't that horrible uh, uh, or problematic. But I would like to at least take one side now and make that one big drawer, high drawer, that the slides tote. out so that I can get to anything in it without having to like remove a tote and then another tote. Towing stabilizer. Okay, we normally tow with your E350. It needs a new engine. So we're probably gonna get a new engine put in it and we may do a minor, small conversion to that van, small. Um, small basic conversion but when we went to florida we towed with your 22 year old <laughs> ford explorer we call her dora and she broke down in, on the way to florida that's in the video too hysterical she didn't break down she was acting a little finicky very finicky oh, can you tell him to buy a new car Dora's burnt no he just spent 500 on dora why oh. would he do that okay Thank you, sir. The rear suspension on it is a little lighter. The weight of the trailer and the fact that I'm just towing with a bumper hitch on there right now. I don't even have a, a frame mount hitch on that vehicle. So that caused the Explorer to fishtail a little bit when you're getting between 65 and 70 miles an hour out on the interstate. So I don't know if it's, if it's stabilization bars, towing, a better towing thing, but I don't even know if we're going to continue to tow with that. We, we've already decided we're not. I use the Explorer on a short trip and preferably on something where I'm not out doing 70 mile an hour on interstates to get back and forth. But ultimately long range, I want to get the van back on the road because of the extra space in the van for hauling stuff that you want to take camping all those little accessories like the outboard motor for the canoe and life jackets and paddles do you have anything else things that we would redo well when you say redo do you mean with this particular show or just things that we would put in a different trip? no in this build in this build there's there's really nothing major that needs to be redone and the things that i've talked about there are ways and i probably will address a number of them there are ways that I can improve both the 12 volt and the 120 volt electric in that trailer over time. There are ways that I can address the lighting and, and I've already done that. We put some in cabinet lighting in that's just battery operated. Mm -hmm.